about fashion. It's about who you are. Add these to your peplum skirts, leather embellished garments, and sheer and lacy fabrics from the last few seasons. Printed pants. Not the hippie kind but the sophisticated, well-fitted ones that you can wear with a sheer blouse or a crop top. Take cues from Mango's Hawaiian printed shorts, price 990 rupees. Old school shorts. These are for the hourglass body type only. High waist shorts will hang on the too skinny and be unflattering on those who have a few extra pounds. However, the other avatar of old school shorts is the ultra girly one with floral prints and in flowing shapes. Boyfriend shoes. Not my favorite trend, this one takes some confidence or really long legs. The kind of shoes sophisticated men would wear to work. Zara hits the nail on the head with its black brooches, price 3790 rupees. Or you can opt for a more effeminate alternative with a silver pair of patent brooches, price 3990 rupees. Body suits. They're an old school strategy to getting a fits like a glove silhouette while keeping your upper neatly tucked into your bottoms very effectively. Forever 21 has a decent set, such as its faux leather trimmed bodysuit. Ripped denim. The trend returns every two or three years and it's refreshing to see it back. This year's take on ripped denim is mild with little or no skin show. It's got to look warm, not skanky. Anything with studs and spikes. On everything from headbands and hairbands to jackets, rings, belts, collar necklaces and even as accents to tees and trousers, these stuffy symbols continue to be a rage. Leather perfects this trend. Cuffs. For men and women alike, the cuff which grabbed eyeballs as part of last year's stacked wrists trend is a must-have accessory. For men, the look is obviously very masculine, the cuff itself in a dark shade, preferably crafted from leather with braiding or a DD ons like viola, studs and spikes. Women can opt for anything from grunge chic to shadi sufficient. Bring sexy back. Sensual is no longer about plunging necklines, ladies. Exquisitely tailored backs are the center of attraction at the moment, it's not about a plain, very open back either. It's all got to do with design and creativity. Tribal and Oriental Influences The broad belt emerges from Oriental influence, but we're talking about prints here. For any fabric, garment or accessory, all you've got to do is look for a tribal print. Or something flowery and Oriental, like the kind you would expect to see on a kimono.